By honoring Toni Morrison in this way, we recognize the indelible impact she has had on this university. Arriving at Princeton in 1989 as the Robert F. Goheen Professor in the Humanities, Morrison's transformative presence as a member of the Creative Writing Program played a central role in diversifying our campus by attracting other faculty and students of color to Princeton and deepening our commitment to African American studies. She also served as a catalyst for expanding Princeton's commitment to the creative and performing arts. In 1994, she founded the Princeton Atelier. Professor Morrison's leadership has helped Princeton to become the increasingly imaginative and inclusive institution that we know today. Through these myriad contributions, and now through the name of Morrison Hall, Professor Morrison's legacy will have enduring significance for all who walk our campus. West College is an iconic structure, part of the fabric of the Princeton identity. How right and just for Morrison to be indelibly linked with its history. Her presence in a new Princeton narrative is not so much to endorse the way things have always been, but to point to the way they can and will be in the future. The bookends of that powerful display of her artistry on a snowy night, on the one hand, and the dedication of Morrison Hall, on the other, celebrate the compelling story of her association with this university. Forever to be entwined, the story of a great writer and a great university with the good sense to turn towards the future. will be recounted through the ages, advancing the legacy of both in a powerful way. In that first workshop with her a year later when she shut the classroom door and treated us like we were the only people in the world, sharing excerpts from books that she loved and telling stories that made her laugh until tears streamed from her eyes, and focusing the group's attention on each student's writing with her keen observations and solemn attention. Or when senior year, I sat waiting in that crowded anteroom once a month for my thesis meetings and discovered that when her advisees turns come, she would draw them out of that waiting area and shut the door on the ringing phones and give them two impossibly focused hours, turning the pages of their manuscripts one by one and initiating painstaking and patient conversations about individual words and phrases and the stories they were struggling to create. I would say that one of the most inspiring and surprising things that she has given me is a real example of a life of passionate devotion to more than one calling. This is a very, very special, beautiful occasion for me. Thank you, thank you both. You're very, very important to me. I'm so happy that you were willing to come and tell me how wonderful I was. <laughs>